guys, I'm Sung Jung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make, you know, in the Din Tai Fung or Chinese restaurant that your favorite appetizer, steamed or boiled dumplings with Sichuan style chili sauce or chili oil, whatever that is on top. I'm gonna show you how to make it. Let's get started. So in a little saucepan, like a tiny saucepan, uh, we're gonna heat up half cup of oil. So today I'm using avocado oil. I got this from Costco, no sponsored, but I'm a Costco sucker. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, <laughs> but I love the deal of the avocado oil over there. So yeah, so I'm gonna use a half cup of it. You can use vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, whatever oil that works for you. I'm gonna heat it up over me medium heat and meanwhile let's chop three cloves of garlic and stir garlic into a mixing bowl chop some ginger same amount so it's about a tablespoon and one green onion i actually going to cut in half in lengthwise and then chop we will need only white part of the green onion this is what the aroma and fragrance coming into coming into going into the chili oil that we are creating for the sauce and keep the green part though because we're gonna use for the garnish later when we're serving on top of the wonton let's add three tablespoons of chili flakes so you can use regular red pepper flakes if you prefer little toned down spiciness for this sauce but i'm going to go all the way using thai chili flakes because it's extra spicy and the cake is something i need during the winter time is perfect and one and a half tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorn so you can find the Sichuan peppercorn from your local Chinese grocery store or online I will put the link down below where you can purchase online and I just lightly toast them on the dry pan and then I grind it in my model and pestle what makes it different is Sichuan peppercorn than black pepper, white pepper. What's different? What makes it different? Sichuan peppercorn is a very signature flavor for, uh, you know, Sichuan cuisine, obviously, it's a Sichuan peppercorn. It makes your tongue going like a little this tingling, 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 which is like almost be like your tongue is getting numbed and that has to, has to, must flavor, I would say flavor in Sichuan cuisine. Um, if you don't like the taste or feeling, you can totally leave it out. This is something either you love it or you hate it. So I love it in my spicy Chinese or Sichuan cuisine, I love it. You will never know unless you try it. So at least give a try and decide. One teaspoon of sugar and half teaspoon of salt. We've got to season this oil. And I'm going to pour this hot oil all over to this mixture. Yes. Be careful when you're pouring the hot oil over all the ingredients because they're gonna immediately boil. And remember to use this mixing bowl as a heat proof. Yeah, I should tell you when I was putting all the ingredients together before I pour the oil, but make sure it's a heat proof mixing bowl so it won't break on you or you will end up kitchen digester and you don't want that, right? All right, just mix everything together. You can't even, it's so good. This by itself it is so amazing just on top of the like noodle soup or whatever you're eating, you want like a little more extra flavor and spicy into it. Sorry, this smell makes me drooling right now. But anyways, this will do the job. Now I'm gonna bring some pot here, bring water to boil to cook my frozen or fresh wonton, dumplings, gyoza, mandu, whatever you're cooking in a boiling water until they're fully cooked. Usually they cook average five minutes. 
I don't know, I don't think the pot is big enough, but I don't care, I'm just gonna cook it all. Cause I know I'm gonna dig in for this. All right, while the wonton is keep cooking, I'm going to show you how to put the sauce together. So all you need is two tablespoons of this chili oil, the solid like chili flakes and garlic, all this stuff with the oil, like heaping two tablespoons. And then one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of black vinegar. Like, what the hell? <laughs> black vinegar. I'm trying to be fancy, okay? All right. One tablespoon of black vinegar. You can buy this from Chinese grocery store or uh, online as well. I will put the link down below as always. This is it, guys. How easy was that? Actually, what I like to do is adding a little pinch of sugar. This is totally optional because I like my flavor a little balanced. You know what I mean? And that's it. The sauce is done. Mm. Okay, I think my wontons are done cooking too. So I'm going to spoon this sauce on top of my boiled dumpling. Garnish with chopped green onions, chopped cilantro, and toasted sesame seeds. By the way, this is an amazing idea for holiday appetizer as well. If you want to throw some, something totally different that everybody going to wow, right here. Just kind of let it swimming around in the sauce. Eat it. Woo! Little kid. This is a soda. This is a anti sangyang's soda, okay? Mmm. 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 This is the bomb. Mmm. So well. If you guys liked my dumplings with chili oil sauce, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today and remember, everybody say you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Kyung Long Guest and this is Asian at Home and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>